Thank you so much for taking time to talk to uh, to us, the media. You know, first question for Jesus, you know, obviously you have been on this great run starting out in, in your career, but you've only fought once past the fourth round. You kind of view Javier Molina, who's on paper the biggest challenge of your career, as that type of fighter who can challenge and push you into some uncharted territory and allow you to show elements of your boxing skills that you perhaps may not have much of a chance to show off otherwise. Yes, of course. I feel like um, I feel like he's 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 that opponent. He's gonna he's he's gonna bring the best out of me, and um, I I I hopefully um, I hope for I hope for for that fight. You know, I hope for for a, a fight that's gonna go past the fourth round, um, and hopefully hopefully we I, I can show you what what my true talent is. You know, I feel like a lot of people classify me as a, just a knockout artist, but you know I've seen what I can do in the ring. I've seen I've seen what what I can do in sparring. And hopefully, like I said, with this fight, I can demonstrate it in, in an actual fight. You know, cool question for Javier. You know, Javier, you fought primary. You, you fought the last couple of years, you know, between 140 and, and 142. Now this being a, a true welterweight fight, how much is that kind of getting to fight back at, at welterweight going to help you as far as not having to cut all that weight? Do you feel like that's more of your natural weight having fought at both of those weight classes in the past? Yeah, I mean, I actually feel like Eventually, I was going to go back up to 147. I've, I had most of my fights at 147, and then my last, I think, four or five fights I had at, at 140. But I was obviously staying there because, um, I mean, I, I felt like I was getting close to a title shot. I think with a win over Pedraza, I would have been there to fight for the title. So I was staying at 140, but I felt like eventually the move to 147 was inevitable. So, I mean, uh, now that I got this opportunity, we're going to be fighting 147. And, I mean, I, I feel great. You know, as far as the mentality that comes, you know, coming off of a, a loss, like, you you know, you've been able to bounce back from losses very, very well. Can you sort of walk us through the the mental adjustments that you have to take, sort of have to readjust yourself, going back to the drawing board and sort of get back uh, on that horse and go be- and try to get back on a win streak? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been in, I've been in uh, worse positions than I am now. I mean, I've been doing this my whole life. I said there was a time in my career where after I lost to Jamal James, I went like two and a half years without fighting. And I, I mean, I couldn't even get a fight. So right now, I mean, I feel like I'm in a way better position than I was then. Like, unfortunately, I, I had a tough loss my last my last fight. But I mean, I just I stayed in the gym, kept working hard. And and thanks to TGB, PVC and everybody that gave me the, and my, my manager, Sam, gave me this opportunity to get back in there and be able to showcase my my skills.